Hello, hello. Welcome to another episode of Dropping Into Happiness. We are your hosts. I am Rachel. And I'm Maggie. Welcome, Sun Drops. Um, we have kind of a fun episode today. We're going to talk about tips and tricks and things we do. I, I feel like you guys ask us a lot, uh, like about, you know, this or that. And I'm going to tell you right now, this could literally go in any direction. <laughs> we, I, I really don't know where it's going to go. We're just going to start talking and see what lights up and what comes up and what we remember things that have helped us, things that aid us. Um, and I would love to hear from you guys. So when we post this teaser um, on Instagram, I would love to have you guys go back on and comment. I'd love to see you guys uh, comment on the blog posts because remember we have a blog post for every episode now on dropping into happiness.com. So if you ever, uh, like if we ever mention a product or a link or a picture or an Instagram page or a YouTube video, they will all be on the blog post as well as listed in the show notes. Um, so either way, uh, and it's been a couple of weeks since we had Madison on, and I just wanted to thank her again, Madison from Health Never Ceasing. We've had so many of you guys reach out and say that you would love to hear from Madison again. So I think she's going to be back over the summer, and we'll have some fun conversations with Madison. So thank you again, Madison from Health Never Ceasing. Um, but before we hop in, Maggie, do you want to do a quick little update on the fundraiser for the arts department for your school? Yes. So if you missed last week's episode, I shared that our chorus program is doing a fundraiser. We're trying to build our own shed on property to store decades worth of summer musical costumes. And then the money that we save having fundraised, we'll be able to then pour back into our students with voice lesson scholarships, trip scholarships. We have a, a trip coming up uh, in November to New York, so that'll be a lot of fun. And then, wow. of course, purchasing music and all of the things that go into running such an awesome uh, choral program. So the link for yeah. that will be in the show notes. You have until April 24th to make a donation of a minimum of $20. And we also have uh, the link in my Instagram bio at Maggie Tracks Magic. If you just click the link in my bio, then you'll see a tab that says donate to our choir in all caps. So <laughs> really appreciate your all support, Sun Drops. Yay. Yeah. So it, I will put the link in the show notes and that will also be on the blog post as well. Uh, cause today is April 19th. So you do have a few more days. Should you be interested in helping out and, um, sharing the love with some students who love to sing and perform? Cause it's not just singing, right? You guys are on stage. Y'all are putting on a right. show. So this, we yeah, that'll be really show. fun. I love it. Um, okay. <laughs> so, uh, like I said, this week's topic is called that thing you do. So, I will kick off with one thing I do, and I'm going to be super honest why I do this, okay? I saw it on TikTok, and I believe it, it was super funny. It was a TikTok that I saw about someone saying that as an adult, they just discovered that they have ADHD, and they were kind of listing some of the things that were um, key factors, and I was it was funny because I was like, I do that. I do that, too. But one of the things that they had recommended that really helped was putting your shoes on. That's it. I know that sounds crazy simple, but I kid you not, if it's the weekend, and we literally just talked about this last week, how sometimes I get to the weekend and I am feast or famine. I'm either on the couch for 48 hours or I cannot stop moving. And I never really knew how to get out of that headspace when I would sit on the couch. Cause I swear I'd sit down and be like, Oh, well, I'll do it in an hour. I'm just going to rest for an hour. It's fine. And then an hour would go by. I'd be like, you know, I still have so much time today. I'll do it in an hour. And I would do that all day long. And they'd be like, I can do it tomorrow. It's Saturday. Even if I had a huge list of things to do. However, I have discovered that if First thing in the morning, before I go and make my breakfast, before I walk the dogs, like put on my sneakers, like not just my slides, not just my Crocs. I put on socks and sneakers. I cannot tell you what a huge difference that has made in my life. Last Sunday, it's so funny. I got up, put on my sneakers. I did laundry. I walked my dogs. I came back and had breakfast. I went for a mile and a half walk and came back and my husband still was not up for the day. And I was like, <laughs> let's go. 
But uh-huh. that, like that, just that super easy, simple step of putting my shoes on. And then also uh, with the whole shoe aspect, if I get home at the end of the day and I know I got things I got to do around my house, even if it's editing, sitting down at a computer, doing something like that. If I take my shoes off, I'm out. I'm out of that mindset. I'm out of that headspace. I don't, I, it, yeah. And it's funny because my husband will laugh at me sometimes because at like 8 p.m. sometimes I'll say, I can take my shoes off now. He's like, you could have taken your shoes off five hours ago. <laughs> and I was like, nope, I can take them off now. I have nothing left to do. I can take my shoes off. So having my sneakers on, that's one of the things that I do that puts me in the headspace of let's let's do it. Let's do it. So that's one thing that helps me. So I don't know where you're going to go with your first one, Maggie, but that one was mine. Yeah, I love that. I think (laughs) I'm going, I'm going back to the beginning of my journey and something that helped me was watching YouTube videos of WW grocery hauls, WW what I eat in a week, WW favorite snacks or snack try, uh, trials or just like I was just consuming a lot of content around Weight Watchers so that I could really learn about the program from people who I felt like were real people doing it. Um, But I could also get ideas because when you first join, you don't really, you might not really know what are the low point options out there, what are like the little hacks Mm -hmm. and things that make the healthy eating exciting. So that was one thing I did and I still do. Um, you know, pull inspiration from resources like that um, because you don't know what you don't know. And there are people out there who are very yeah. experienced and have, have tried different things and, and you can gain a lot of knowledge from that. So it's definitely one thing I recommend, especially for people who are newer or if you're in a rut and you're just looking for yeah. some inspiration when it comes to, you know, like even I was just on, I was on Instagram the other day, um, watching stories and there's an account called WW chef Steph. She's lost like over a hundred pounds on, on WW and she, um, shares a lot of yeah. great food ideas. Um, but she had just posted that she, I don't know if you're familiar with the Chewy brand, like Chewy granola bars. Yeah. Um, they actually uh-huh. have a reduced sugar version now of those like chocolate chip and the peanut butter nice. chocolate chip granola bars so those are actually three points and she shared them on her instagram stories and i was like oh, i gotta go to target <laughs> and get some of those you know because there's it's just like fun to have something exciting that's like points uh easily managed in the points so yeah definitely recommend yeah. checking out some ww content creators or people that share their food and, and grocery hauls online just to get started out. So that's the first thing that came to my mind. Speaking of being inspired, we've talked about uh, Nikki Gets Fit on Instagram a lot. Oh, I love like her. To, to, to recommend love her. her. Did you see her WW ad? No. Oh, well, well she's yeah, like, like she's, yes. she's in photos and stuff. She's, yes, I didn't know that. Coach mm-hmm. Gigi, I love Gigi. Coach Gigi had posted a picture of her the other day. I was like, hey, that's Nikki. Like, like mm-hmm. I know her, but I'm like, yeah. oh my gosh, that's, I didn't know that. I was so yeah. excited to see that Nikki was on there. Cause I'm like, yes, girl, get it. Yeah. She was, was at, her face was like on a huge banner in my local studio and I took a selfie with it and I tagged her <gasps> in it. Um, I love it. Which is so cool. Now our studio is moving to a holiday and express, but that's another conversation. <gasps> <laughs> so was my the closest one to me too and so now it's no longer like a store they won't sell products and i'm like wah, yeah. wah. i'm like 20 minutes away from one so i'd like actually yeah. have to make an effort to get over there <laughs> oh no okay so something else that i did which i did this in the beginning and i still kind of do it now uh it's it's i'm gonna not super piggyback on what you're saying like looking at like food inspiration I would get, this was in the very, very beginning. And honestly, even when I would be at my lowest or when I was feeling like I was reevaluating, recalibrating, I I kid you not, I jump on Pinterest and I have a huge board. Let me see if I can even look at it. I have this one board that just is called inspire me. And every time I see a word, a quote, a phrase, a situation that I'm just absolutely in love with, I put it on there. And so every so often, if I really, really need it, I'll go back and I'll scroll through it, see if there's any other ones that I can find. And in the past, 
actually when I started like my big, my big, big journey, um, I printed a bunch out. I printed my absolute favorite ones out and I taped them to the back of my, like my bathroom door. Mm. So I could just see them and read them all the time. And I absolutely love them. I have 508 pins in that one in my inspire me. Yeah. Wow. I have so, I have so many boards on Pinterest. I love it. But I, so it just is something that I wanted to see. I love words and <laughs> My stepsister laughs at me because I say that. I love words. I, lo- I have the signs in my house that's like, in this house, we're going to. And, you know, like, I love words. And so that, that resonates with me. So I had literally covered the back of my bathroom door with just these absolutely inspiring words. And so when I would be in there, especially because, I mean, I think a lot of us do this first thing in the morning. What do you usually do? You usually go into the bathroom and you sit down just to kind of start your day. And my door faces the seat. So I would sit down and read through all of them every single morning. Mm. And I loved doing that. I had such great inspiring words from that. And so that was, that was one that, um, I need to bring that one back. I've taken them all down because, you know, after a while they start to warp from the heat and the shower and the mist. And I need to do that again. I need to print out some new ones and put them on there. So, but I really, I loved doing that one. So I'm, I'm also very visual. So it just, it created this very fun mosaic on the back of my bathroom. Yeah. Yeah, That was another one for me. That's great. Another one um, that you reminded me of, that thing that I do, and I did this again at the beginning of my journey. I took an inventory in my closet of things that fit and things that did not fit. And if it still sparked joy and I felt like, okay, I could see myself wearing this again, I would take pictures of me in the item. And then in a few weeks, I would try it on again and take more pictures and then it would fit and I would take a picture and then I'd put those the original and the new pictures side by side. And I was able to really yeah. see and experience the progress beyond the number on the scale. And then as it got bigger on me, I would take pictures and then I would end up selling the clothes and getting rid of them. Um, so yes. I, I really recommend doing that if you have something in your, clo- in your closet that you would like to wear in the future. Um, Mm. I think it's just a fun way to track progress. Um, And, you know, I- I Definitely. I encourage not to put timelines like, oh, I want to fit into this item by X date because we can't really control that. But I think it's a fun uh, source of of visualizing your progress um, to do that. So definitely recommend taking pictures not even in clothes necessarily, but just in general, taking pictures like after the gym or just taking a quick mirror selfie before work. As you're on your health and wellness journey, I just feel like pictures are um, just the value is immeasurable for tracking progress because you can really see, I mean, the pictures don't lie when you put them side by side. And I like to recreate the poses and recreate the outfits that (laughs) I was in so I could really see the difference. It's pretty fun. But yeah. see, that was like bringing Nikki back up. Uh, that's what I love about hers because she'll do her side by sides. Because like you said, your eyes don't see it a lot of times during the process. But the number on her scale does not match the way that she looks, if that makes sense. Like mm-hmm. it's so I love that because like so many of us put so much stock in the number on the scale. So I love that you're like, I feel like that could give you such a sense of um, confidence. Like the, I feel like the number on the scale makes you happy, but it doesn't give you confidence. So seeing yourself and seeing how the clothes are changing and how they're getting bigger, that can like really, really embody some confidence in us. I like mm-hmm. it. Yay. Yeah. Okay. My next one is a food one. And it's funny because my husband, <laughs> my husband hates this one, but it was mm-hmm. such an easy switch. It was such an easy habit to change up. I, I don't buy dipping sauces that have sugar, if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. Like my ketchup, zero sugar ketchup. My barbecue sauce is zero sugar barbecue sauce. And you know what I finally found the other day, Maggie, and I'm so excited? Uh, The zero sugar Polynesian sauce. Oh, yeah. That stuff is good. I I love me some Polynesian sauce from Chick-fil-A, but it's so many points. Because when I go to Chick-fil-A, I get the naked nuggies zero points, Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but the sauce kills me. Yeah. And, uh, so G Hughes, if anybody like guys, I promise you G Hughes is everywhere now. So it's the letter G and then Hughes like Hugh Grant. So H U G H. Yes. G Hughes. 
I will put a link. I think he has a website that you can go to and just buy everything. I got this, the Polynesian sauce, though, at Walmart. I was kind of shocked I saw so many. They have a yeah, sugar-free. Yeah, Walmart has a good, um, honey good mustard. stock of it. Yeah. Yeah. The, um, yeah. I can't remember the name of it. Um, cause they have the Polynesian, but then he also has, I think it's called like Cluckin sauce or Cluck Cluck. It's like the Chick fil A sauce, but G Hughes. Yes. Version. And Chick fil A sauce, I think nice. it's like six points for the little container. Per the and little container. For G yeah. Hughes, that particular sauce is like three points for two tablespoons. Um, nice. But it's worth yeah. it. It tastes exactly the same. That's the real deal. So good. See, I feel that way about the ketchup. I feel like it's just ketchup is ketchup. It tastes exactly like ketchup to me. I, no difference. And it's zero sugar, so it's zero points. Do you know how much sugar is in regular ketchup? Blows my mind. It just, mm-hmm. It's just so many points. And my husband, every time I get the zero sugar, he's like, it's fake ketchup. I'm like, that's real ketchup. Come on. Like, <laughs> he swears he can taste a huge difference. <laughs> I can't. I can't at all. Yeah, I mm-hmm. can't at all. So I've just really started diving into all those sugar because it just, gosh, it pulls points back so, so much. It can really cut down on your points if you're doing WW program. And it just really helps cut out some of that refined sugar in our day because, man, refined sugar is an everything. So that was an, that was an easy one for me. I didn't stop buying barbecue sauce. I didn't stop buying, you know, ketchup. I didn't stop doing things like that. I just shift it and I do the sugar-free ones now. So that was an easy, an easy shift for me. Yeah. Yeah. I have, um, I know I have at least one more activity one to share and then another food one to share. Um, the activity one is like a two-parter. Okay. So if you're someone who wants to do more walking or running, one thing that helps me is finding a training program and signing up for a race. Whether you're going to walk a 5k or run a 5k, nice. I feel like actually having a specific thing to work towards rather than just saying like, I'm going to walk more or I'm going to run more, but having Mm -hmm. some kind of, you know, event to work towards can be really helpful for motivation, um, for, for discipline. Cause you know, like, okay, if I don't train, then I'm not going to feel successful. So you kind of see the value in showing up. Um, and then on another side of the coin, if you're someone who just wants to be more active and, or you want to lift weights or you just want to try anything, group fitness class is awesome. Whether you're doing a group fitness mm-hmm. lifting class, cycling class, I did bar, uh, pure bar, group Pilates is really popular. I know Rachel had mentioned an at-home yeah. Pilates setup, but I know like right yeah. now Pilates is having its moment, um, which is kind of interesting. Yeah. Because I know it was like really big, what, in the 80s? It's like circling back around. Um, But uh, there's um, a lot out there. And what's really great about group classes is, is one, you get the energy of people around you. And it just kind of can hype Mm. you up. But, two, you get attention from a certified coach, a certified trainer. Mm -hmm. They know what they're talking about. They can help you with form. They're there if you need questions. One-on-one personal training, though very valuable, is super expensive. So oftentimes you can get the benefit of, you know, having access to a trainer without having to pay the the significant price tag when you do group fitness. And a lot of group fitness gyms will offer like first class free or even first week of classes free so you can try things out um, before you, you know, commit to see what style you are interested in. So if you're someone out there who, you know, really is feeling like a beginner in activity and wants to get more involved, Check out different group classes. They're so fun. Speaking of group classes, did you see uh, many moons ago, we had a guest on our show, uh, Justin. Coach Justin. He's, yeah. yeah, he's no longer a coach, I believe, with WW anymore. Is he mm-hmm. right? And I'm, he's still doing, I'm, he's still moving and shaking, but right. he I, just hit his 500th workout at Orange Theory. Did you see that? Yeah, that was so awesome. Yes. Yeah. That, yes. That's incredible because, you know, I mean, that's definitely over a year worth of of I, commitment. Yeah. yeah. And he's yeah. killing it. Like, he's so, so fit. <laughs> I know. Yeah, because yeah. he, I think he's done that too, like signed up for certain races and had an end, like like a, a goal to shoot for when it came to Yeah, he's done a full think marathon now, I think. I mean, he's yeah. done at least one full marathon, so he's like killing it. Um, He'd be yes. fun to have back on 
uh, the podcast like, to see what he's up to because I know he's kind of switched gears with um, what he focuses on in terms of like tracking. But um, yeah, so I definitely recommend the the group fitness. Give it a try. Okay. I know it might feel intimidating, but I've only had positive experiences and of the variety of different group classes that I've tried throughout my fitness. I eras. love group classes. Like you were saying, you feel the energy of everybody. My kickboxing class that I adore, I love the instructor. There's actually been a couple of different group fitness classes that I've done where I legit would go because I love the instructor so much. Yeah. Eugenia uh, is my instructor here and she, she makes, she makes me want to go harder. And like mm-hmm. mid class, if I feel like I'm slumping, she'll go, get it, Rach. Come on, Rach. Like in front of everybody. And I'm like, yeah. yeah. And I, I remember love, when I lived I in Texas, that. When I lived in Texas, uh, one of the co-creators of Zumba, she used to teach a class. I used to drive 20 minutes to go to her class. She was, wow. she just, that energy just came off of her. She was amazing. Um, yeah. So I, I, I'm a firm believer in fitness classes, but you said something about Pilates, like, like how it was a big hit in the eighties, man, if we had anything come back from the eighties, I want jazzercise to come back with the leg warmers and like the yeah. day glow. <laughs> Yeah, I would love to man. see Jazzercise have a resurgence. It's Come only on, a matter of time. bring some Jazzercise. Yeah, it's I only know. a matter of time. I feel like it's like one oh. of the Kardashians just like needs to go to a Jazzercise class, and then it will it will be cool. And again. everyone's gonna do it. Yeah, yeah, everyone will do it. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I got one more, and then you can wrap us up. So uh, okay. one of the things that helps me with my water. And I'm sure my husband would roll his eyes at this one, but I love cups. I mean, we've talked about like an emotional support water bottle. Like I, you guys probably see this green one I use a lot and like my, my, my dropping in a happiness cup that I have, but y'all, I have them everywhere and I'd love to get really, really pretty ones. And so I have like Starbucks ones with like the rhinestones on it. I get custom ones. I kid you not. There is, (laughs) there's a water bottle right here at my desk actually. And there's another one. I got a water bottle here. I have a water bottle next to my bed. I have a water bottle at work. I have some extra pretty ones at work in case I'm not feeling that pretty one. I keep them everywhere because if, if they're within arm's reach, I'm going to drink it. So, and I just, I love like, I just, I feel like I have a collection of them now, but if they're within arm's reach, I will drink my water. It just, to make it easy. It's we've, I think a long time ago, we've talked about fuel and friction. And one of the frictions for me with water is not having accessible because I won't get up and walk over there to fill up my eight ounce cup. However, having this right here, I mean, how many times in just this episode have I taken a sip? You know what I mean? And Mm -hmm. so being able to just have it nearby, I mindlessly drink water that way. When I'm at the state, the the radio station, I will mindlessly grab my water bottle, like to the point where I'll be like, oh, I'm out because I didn't realize how much I had been drinking. So that helps me get in my hydration is just really having access to my water bottles wherever I am. And you know what it makes me think of? Uh, I was watching this TikTok the other day and this one, she was a mom and she goes, does anybody else have this problem? She goes, I lost my purse chapstick. So I had to move my car chapstick to my purse, but then I didn't have a chapstick (laughs) in my car. So I had to move my desk chapstick to my car, but then I didn't have one on my desk. So I had to move my nightstand chapstick to my desk. And I was like that, I feel like that's me with water bottles. Like I have like one everywhere. Yeah, That's so so funny. funny. I love it. Oh yeah. So my food one, I have, well, I have two, two parters. One part is if you are craving something from like a fast food or takeout, like basically, you know, like it's a specific thing that you're just wanting so Mm -hmm. badly, but you're like rats. Like, I just don't want to spend the points or nine times out of 10, you can make it at home just as yummy and for way lower in points. So like Mm -hmm. if, for example, KFC bowls like the famous KFC bowls, there's lots of copycat versions. So if you just like Google like WWKFC bowl, something will come up or like, um, yeah, Crunchwrap Supreme from Taco Bell, WW Crunchwrap Supreme, something comes up like basically anything you could crave, you could probably recreate it at home, um, for lower end points. So just knowing yeah. that that's an option and using ye old Google machine, um, <laughs> somebody's probably thought of it already, which is so cool. And yeah. then on the flip side, let's say you really do just want to have takeout. 
One thing I've been exploring the past few weeks is just ordering from the kids meal. I eat a lot of yep. my meals to go. So I don't, you know, I get questions like, do people question you? Cause you're not 12. Um, but most of the time I just order online for pickup or I call for pickup, oh. um, and I get it to go and it's a non-issue, but then I can have that experience of takeout. I can have something that feels a little bit more indulgent, but it's way less in points. Like I recently posted a Culver's um, kids meal with two piece chicken tenders and mashed potatoes with gravy for 10 points total. And then if you take that home, you can steam some broccoli or have throw some corn in there or some green beans. I mean, literally anything you want. And then it's, you know, you're adding yeah. zero points, um, but you're bulking it up even more. Um, so that's just something that I, I really recommend because that makes it feel less like a diet to me and more like a oh, lifestyle. Yeah. So those are my, that's my I'm going to tell you, I swear, my mom has never called me and be like, hey, I heard you say something on the podcast today. No, my mom will call or text and be like, hey, so Maggie said this. Um, <laughs> I kid you not. I haven't, I forgot to tell you. The other day, my mom texted me and it was like first thing in the morning because they're, they're a little bit ahead of us on time. But I remember it was earlier in the day. And uh, so they had gone to like an early lunch. Her and my sister were listening to, and my niece, listening to the podcast on their way out into town. And they stopped mm -hmm. at a Mexican restaurant and my mom took a picture of the menu. So, cause they wanted to order off the kids menu. Cause ironically enough, it was the episode a few episodes back when you were talking about that. My mom was like, that's a brilliant idea. I'm going to do what Maggie does. Cause you know, not what I say. She always wants to do what Maggie <laughs> talks about. <laughs> And so they would, they allow adults to order off the kids menu. However, if you're over 12, the cost goes up $2 uh, and 50 cents. She was like, it's uh, the same amount of food. I don't, I don't understand. Yeah. She that was is so such mad. a, yeah. it's such a rip off. Like it's a problem mm -hmm. I have, but especially with big box chain restaurants where it's like, y'all are not hurting for money. Like calm down, but 100%. Yeah. Sorry, uh. mom. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think this one was fun. I like, we really went back and forth pretty quickly. Like I, I did not think we would have so much to go on about, but that was kind of fun. Right. And that's, I, I feel episode. like that's only skimming the surface. I mean, also friends, oh, like we talk about the things that we do in almost every episode. So if you want more, just scroll mm -hmm. back. I mean, you got 66 episodes, 66. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So lots 66. of things that we do throughout this uh, recordings it, it's so funny too because uh i i'm gonna shout out to listener julie i hello miss julie she is fairly new sundrop and she found us on youtube and so it was funny because i think she found us by episode like 46 so she mm. listened to 46 through like 55 and then for some reason decided to jump back to one and so she He's backtracking, like backtracking the catalog. It's Bless so her. cute because I'll get a notification of a comment from like episode five. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's so cute. So yeah, lots to listen to, lots to go by if you guys have questions though. But um, I it's just fun. We I love answering you guys' questions or going over your topics. And uh, so it's always fun though. But time for our goals and recommendations for this week. I think you went first last week. So I, I'll, I did. I'll start up this week. Uh, I, like I've mentioned, I work at a radio station and I, I actually, the company I work for owns two radio stations actually in one corner is one and in one corner of the big building is the other. Well, the bigger of the two stations, the morning radio, uh, radio show host, he is the longest standing radio show host for this station ever. And he just hit his 10 year anniversary. So there's a big party for him next week. And it's a big deal. It's a big event. It's at a big, really pretty casino. It's just this gorgeous view and there's going to be food. I, so very specific. I'm so I actually, I know this is kind of a off, off to the side. Uh, we haven't said in a long time why we say star goal. So star for anybody who maybe doesn't know why we say star when we say star goal, the star stands for specific, truly doable, active, and relevant. So for my star goal at this event next Thursday, I will stick to two appetizers because there's not going to be a meal meal. It's just like a table of appetizers. Mm. I'm going to stick to two appetizers and one alcoholic beverage. I'm not going to graze all night. I'm going to be in the moment. I'm going to talk to people. I'm going to have it. My husband gets to go with me. I'm going to have a great time and I'm going to stick to two appetizers and one alcoholic beverage. Boom. That's my goal. 
So going into this, I'm going to know I'm not going to just keep walking by that table and picking things up. Nope. I'm going to be in the moment. I'm going to be at the party. And that's what I'm going to do. And then my recommend my recommendation this week is, y'all, uh, this next Saturday, put your shoes on. Put them on first thing in the morning and just <laughs> tell me if that changes your day. <laughs> Yay! I love it. So that's my recommendation. I know. Very easy one. Very easy one. But what about you, Maggie? Woo! So this episode is launching April t- 19th. So April 22nd, mm-hmm. I'm competing in my first um, solo strength competition. It's called Festivus, what? which sounds really epic. Um, but yeah, and, and, and there's a bunch of people from my gym participating, so I won't be alone, but it's just me against me. And I'm really looking forward to yes. that. So my goal is just to have fun and and make sure that I bring some helpful snacks. Because one thing I learned from the last competition I did, um, you know, with a 5K or even a 10K, it's like 35 to an hour and a half long commitment, just depending upon the mileage and everything. Mm. And then you're done. With these strength competitions, you're there for like hours and you're like working out really hard and then you get a little break and you're working out really hard and then you get a little break and so it was kind of hard to like fuel for that and I was so like yeah physically I was being you know everything was so physically demanding I didn't have an appetite like I thought like nothing sounded good oh. but then I knew if I didn't eat, yeah it was not gonna be good so I want to like really th- mm-hmm. be thinking about some snacks maybe it's like animal crackers pretzels like fruit gummies, yeah. like just things that give like quick energy, but they don't feel um, too taxing or too heavy. Um, mm-hmm. But then also just have yes. fun. So that's my goal. And then my recommendation Yay. in line with Rachel was talking about hydration. My hydration recommendation is to get some water enhancers that you like. And one of my favorites is yes. the Mio Sweet tea i have it up here for those of us watching on the youtube Ooh. and the meals are great because they're you know little bottles you can just toss in a bag or keep in your office and then you just squirt them in and rachel and i were mentioning you don't really need a lot um one thing i will say is depending upon the flavor there may be some sodium in there not a ton but just something to be aware of in the sweet tea it is zero milligrams of sodium so that's nice you don't have to worry about that um affecting yeah. anything um yeah i love that uh water enhancer just kind of makes the water feel a little bit more exciting especially towards the end of the day i notice like for dinner time i'm like i do not want plain water <laughs> so love yeah. the water enhancers. have you heard of liquid death the liquid death uh water brand no <laughs> liquid yeah death. love liquid death for one uh and it's i know it's really funny usually if they're at events and stuff their signs say like calm down it's just water <laughs> but they have like a tea collection now and they're all naturally sweetened so there's no cane sugar um but they have one and it's called um not the armless palmer there it's a uh a, a leafer a grim leafer that's their like sweet tea <laughs> Yeah, wow. That and it's just fun. sweet. It's just sweet enough. And it's sweetened with agave. I think it was maybe one point for a tall can. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. So if yeah, if anybody else is looking for like a like a, a tea flavor, I, I love those. I just got some the other day and they were gone in like two days at my house. I had a case of them. Yeah. Mm. So fun. But I, right. I, I can't wait to see pictures from your competition coming up. So that'll be really fun. You guys know, uh, remember, you can follow dropping into happiness pod on insta but also maggie and i both have our own separate ones maggie is uh maggie tracks magic i'm balancing that life we are on all the socials though guys facebook tiktok twitter uh instagram all the things you can find us on patreon if you want to support the podcast we are on youtube if you did not realize you could watch us and i i swear i talk a lot with my hands i don't know why i don't know it's just a thing. <laughs> but we if we ever have anything to show you guys it's always a fun one um so yeah find us anywhere see the things follow our journeys and share with us yours so do we have a closing quote today though maggie we do it is from darren hardy You will never change your life until you change something you do daily. The secret of your success is found in your daily routine. I like it. Those, those habits, right? Those healthy habits is what we talk about and consistency Mm -hmm. with healthy habits, changing one little thing or just finding what works for you guys. Like these things that we've talked about today, they work for us. 
but they, they might, just might not be something that floats your boat. So find what works for you. Enjoy it. Have a good time. And thanks for dropping by. Have a magical day.